I am Dr. Hitendra Kumar Gar, working as a senior consultant in gastroenterology and hepatology in Apollo Hospitals. Today we will speak on the cirrhosis of liver. So what are the causes of the cirrhosis? How do we recognize them? What are the symptoms of the cirrhosis? If one patient has a symptoms of cirrhosis, then what are the symptoms? And how do we evaluate with these uh, symptoms? What are the investigations of the, uh, to evaluate the cirrhosis of a liver? And what are the treatment options? Cirrhosis of a liver uh, is uh, being defined as the chronic uh, irreversible liver tissue damage where, uh, where the healthy liver tissue is replaced by the scar and the fibrotic tissue. In our country, cirrhosis of a liver, most there are certain environmental factors, certain genetic factors. The in, if you look at the gen, uh, genetic factors, there are some gene deficiencies, some there are mutations and if you look at the environmental factors most common in our country is the alcoholic liver disease. Second one is the hepatitis B and hepatitis C. In our, this India is considered to be endemic zone for hepatitis B and hepatitis C. And third one is the which we most commonly see in these days is the NASH, NASH related liver disease. Treatment options. If you, it, it depends on the liver disease. The liver disease, as I said already, there is a most common cause of liver disease of uh, liver cirrhosis of in, in India is the alcoholic liver disease. So if we stop alcohol, then we can prevent the alcoholic liver disease. But once it develops the cirrhosis, you can't, even if you stop the alcohol, you can't the, prevent the, uh, it is already happens. So you can't prevent the uh, cirrhosis. But even if you stop the alcohol, it prevents the further decompensation. Decompensation means patient develop ascites, patient is having a jaundice, patient is pleural effusion, patient can develop the altered sensorium, patient can have a prevent the development of a liver tumor. So if we stop the alcohol, definitely we further pro, uh, prevent the decompensation. But uh, once it happens, the cirrhosis, you can't. Secondly, we, if we talk about the second most common cause is the viral hepatitis. In our country, the most common cause of the in viral hepatitis is the hepatitis B followed by the hepatitis C. The hepatitis B, once a patient develops the cirrhosis, it definitely you can't prevent it, it to reverse it, but definitely you can uh, uh, prevent the development of this decompensation. There are certain, if we talk about the uh, uh, treatment against the hepatitis B, there are an antivirals which we, very effective, which we start and it has to continue for almost lifelong, so we can prevent the decompensation. By and large, the cirrhosis of a liver is divided into two parts, the compensated and the decompensated. The compensated means there is a cirrhosis, but there are no symptoms. Mostly in these group of patients is usually asymptomatic, 60-70% they are asymptomatic. In these group of patients, the most, the most common symptoms is the fatigue, the weight loss, and once it develops a decompensated cirrhosis, decompensation means development of a jaundice, development of a coagulopathy, development of a hepatic encephalopathy, patient develop a tumor, patient may develop a ascites, patient develop a effusion. The most common, usually the I just I told the symptoms. If the symptoms in the compensated cirrhosis, usually they don't have a symptoms. You, the most common symptoms, as I told, is because is the weight loss. Patient is malnutrited or patient has uh, decreased weight. Apart from these, the usually they don't have a symptoms. So in these cases, how do we evaluate? We just do the routine blood test. Routine blood test means we do the blood test CBC. CBC, we, you can look at the TLC level. You may find the low TLC level, you can find the low platelet level, you do the next test, you do the liver function test, you might see some increase in the bilirubin level, you can see there is a albumin decrease in the albumin level, some alteration in the SGOT and SGPT level. Another test we do the PTINR, in some patients there you can find the increase in the PTINR level. If 
these tests are normal you can move forward you can do the ultrasound level ultrasound you can see there is a alteration in the eco texture of a liver you can see the ascites you can see the there is a collaterals you can see the increase in the portal vein and another test is the endoscopy you can find the varices and later the last uh, the most important test is the ct scan of the liver today we have discussed about the cirrhosis what are the causes of the cirrhosis what are the common symptoms of the cirrhosis how do we detect how do we diagnose the cirrhosis and if we uh, if we have a symptoms related to cirrhosis or patients having a symptoms somewhat related to cirrhosis uh, then how do we treat them how do we treat alcohol how we treat the viral diseases and how do we prevent the uh, nash related cirrhosis if we have these symptoms related to liver disease please do consult a nearby liver doctor stay safe stay healthy stay informed namaste